Welcome back. 10 second cartooning. I take a little break and I find out the great uh, Norm MacDonald has passed and it's really sad. It's a really sad day for comedy and the arts, but uh, it's a sad. He was great. Really the master of the dry wit and uh, he's going to be missed for a long time, but his work, his work lives on. Anyway, let's get back to it. Let's get back to becoming great artists, great artists here. And, uh, yeah, so let's just visually, let's take, you know, what they're talking about. Eyeball, the eyeball is big as a golf ball in the human head. Um, you got cheekbones underneath that uh, the eyelids curve like short visors and just drawing that for 10 seconds just do that for <laughs> I'm just you know I'm kind of half kidding you with the 10 second thing but just to get used to that slant 45 degree angle and see how he draws it kind of like very much like a car part this is almost like I remember that this reminds me of that movie uh, Flight of the Navigator it's a Disney kids movie from the 80s and it had a this eye like visor that came down it had a shape very similar to this and Again, that, that, that just tells you how much it's a lot like, uh, like very uh, machine-like. And see, the eye could go right in here. The iris and the pupil. So on and so forth. But yeah, Flight of the Navigator, I'm just going from memory. And it's, it's always a good 10-second pra practice to do, like, can I draw it from memory? What do I remember? And let me see Flight of the Navigator. <sighs> Had these things coming out from the sides. Mm-hmm. Like that. And had these. It kind of it was like a helmet of sorts. And it had these indentations or something on the sides there. And I think it had another... Another thing there. And it, I think it glowed. The eye glowed or something like that. And it was on some kind of stem. A metal stem. Something like that. So I'll have to... That's just drawing from memory. I don't know how much of it I'm right. But if you did a side angle of that... It would look a lot like this. <laughs> but anyway, let's look at this here as an example, something to kind of draw from as a visual reference and to practice with. Let me just take this part right here. And you get the brow line, right? Always, and it, the brow line isn't perfectly straight, it's curved. So you can do like a really curved, well, a barely curved, I mean, uh, line. And then here we'll just do really light. The nose is going to be over here, so there's that cross already. And we'll do another about a half inch curved parallel line. That'll be the distance from the, the eyebrow. We'll just do a little... faint eyebrow right but how they have it here it's like a shit like a curved um, like what I was talking about uh, not eyelash but the um, the eyelid At this point, I'm just kind of copying the eyelid. That's okay. 
and the football is the rest of the eye kind of sunken in. And see how the eyelid has that kind of weight to it. And then it's curved. Again, think of yourself like a sculptor. You're just lightly sketching. Okay, lightly sketching these lines. And this pu this iris, it doesn't necessarily touch the bottom of this or the top of this bottom lid. I think that's one of the things about eyes, they don't necessarily do that normally. If you squint, okay, but and then he he sketched some uh, shadow in here to kind of give you a sense of depth. And 3Dness. And that's that's a whole nother that's a whole nother video the shadow the the shading you know but again it's all about quick quick movement and how much pressure you put on the pencil and then in here you put the you put the pupil the actual pupil right there and make it kind of reflective same with the iris and. You get the basic idea on the feeling of the how these th things are kind of like parts that all come together. You get you get the idea, and there's folds and everything. So yeah, and then kind of repeat on the other side. Don't feel bad if you're just copying it. You get it's you practicing that muscle memory. And you see how this side is following that side, this, uh, the symmetry, you know, it's about the same there. So yeah, just wanted to go over that. It's not a bad thing to copy. And just to remember what elements go into the eye and everything, the skin, how the, the eyelids go around it and hold it and everything. Whether you're drawing a more realistic drawing or a comic book style drawing. It's good to know. You know, normally, yeah, I guess you would. You could, this would be like a close up, an extreme close up. Um, but you, a lot of comic book artists don't necessarily go quite that much into detail. Some of them do. But the more illustrative, uh, the more like shading, the more realistic drawing you do, for sure. All right. Thanks for watching. Remember, 10 seconds a day is all it takes. And um, drop me a comment. Tell me what you what you like, what you don't like, what you'd like me to see what, uh, see covered. Any questions? I can hopefully hopefully go over things with you. Check out my Udemy uh, course, 10 Second Cartooning. And uh, I know some of my earlier videos have the link on there for uh, my email newsletter. All right. I'll uh, see you in the next video.